Well, flu season is in high gear right about now, and a lot of us are holding our breath, hoping <laughs> to make it through the next few months without catching the virus. Yeah. Did you know, though, there is a virus that can make you think that you have the flu because, well, so many of the symptoms are similar. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez did some digging for us. He joins us now from Doctors Regional Hospital. And Roland, let's talk about the virus and how we can tell the difference. Uh, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Unlike the common flu, adenovirus can strike at any time during the year, unlike the flu does. If you get a runny nose, cough, sore throat, you probably think it's the flu. Think again, you may have an adenovirus infection. The adeno does exist, and it causes very similar like signs and symptoms as the flu does. It doesn't hit you like the ton of bricks like the flu does, but the pro biggest problem is with adenovirus, even though it self-resolves by itself, and we treat it very symptomatically, it does cause death in immunocompromised individuals. That's why it's getting more attention in the, in the recent years. A person can become infected with adenovirus at any age, and it causes a range of illnesses from mild to severe. The biggest differentiation a lot of people say is when they say, oh, I have the flu, adenovirus can present, present with conjunctivitis, which is pink eye, can also present with diarrhea, which is very different than the presenting symptoms of, like I said, the common cold or um, the influenza. Most people who get sick from adenovirus recover after a few days, but people with a weakened immune system are at a higher risk of developing severe complications from an infection. Who's at risk? Um, basically anybody, like I said earlier, with immunocompromised um, <clears throat> disorders like HIV, anybody who's on steroids, anybody who, even if somebody is an asthmatic or diabetic, which reduces your immune system as well. You can protect yourself and others from adenoviruses and other respiratory illnesses. In terms of the prevention and spreading of the actual virus, you don't want to go and if you're sick, you should stay home. And if you do feel like you're starting to get the symptoms of it, to, to avoid spreading it, you stay home and you don't really avoid contact. One of the biggest things the CDC recommends is hand washing, proper hand washing up to 20 seconds. Hey guys, here's something interesting. There is no adenovirus vaccine for the public. And of course, we'll have more information on adenovirus later this morning on our website at krstv.com. Mike, Sonia. All right, thank you, Roland. Well,